Hello, my little chickens. Make some babies for me. I'll take those eggs as well. Okay. Ooh, look at the little piggy. Ah, I'm loving the way this place is looking. Okay. Now, I suppose I should actually go and get myself some more... Ooh. Looks like I got myself some mail. What do we have here? A message from marketing. One more thing? What on earth? Go ahead and, uh... It's looking a little bit beat up. Jeez. Well, let's see what the this has to be about. Ah, hey boss. You asked weeks ago about potential new markets to start developing products for. Well, it turns out there's a livestock shortage. Owing to the only farm on this planet doing no ranching whatsoever, with a little work we can fix this. Especially since we got our license from the Experimental Science Board. Gotta say, those souvenirs you sent the government officials really sped up the approval process. Anyway, if we start developing cloning technology, we can corner the meat market in no time. Oh. Fantastic. Well, isn't that just great? Well, I really gotta hand it to the postal system for uh, actually sending that through. At least I have uh, something that I know that's going to pull in plenty of cash now. Um, I'm just hoping that R&D actually did their job right. Now, what about this? One more thing. This almost forgot boss R&D says you'll need to get one or more nether stars slash cubes before you can start decoding DNA. They say there's no way around this. <laughs> That's not gonna be fun. This. No! No! No, no, no. Oh. DNA sequencing is gonna require me to kill the wither? This... My rotten luck. Isn't that great? Do I have anything along those lines in my chests already? I don't even know if I do. If I'm gonna summon the wither, I'm gonna need a bunch of these freaking skulls. I don't think that there's any way to make these. I'm gonna be stuck heading out to the nether. Oh my god. Well, isn't this just fantastic? I have to go out to the nether and kill a bunch of skeleton, wither skeletons, to get my hands on skulls and summon that terrible beast. And what's mo- what did he say? One or more? So I don't have to just... Oh. Mm. Um, okay, so, what exactly do I have to get this time around? Um, I'm gonna need to capture a wither skeleton. I'm not really after his skull, I just need to capture one wither because random spawns of wither skeletons are really uncommon. Um, and then, I'm gonna need to, to... In order to spawn my own wither skeletons reasonably, I'm going to need... Cursed Earth, which which is really what I'm after at this point. Uh, wither Skeleton in a Safari Net and Cursed Earth. But uh, in order to get the Cursed Earth, I'm going to have to do a whole bunch of other things, which I'll get to whenever I get back. Uh, for now, I'm heading out to the Nether. Okay, here we are. Nice little house that uh, I bi built all those ages ago. Okay. What are we looking at here? I've got my hang glider. As you can see, uh, Strife Solutions has been busy here in the nether. Uh, the Viroxys ore, this... Uh, that terrible green stuff up there, whenever you walk over it, you end up getting infected. Um, I was digging up tons of it because, you know, I've been, uh, I've been using the digital miner in the nether here. And holy wow, do you ever dig up tons of Viroxes whenever you hang out in the nether and mine here. Follow the green brick road. Um, and I figured out 
uh, at some point, you know what? A bright green highway in the nether is a great way to not get lost, because it stands out. If you just look at the map right there, it seriously stands out against the backdrop. So, um, I've been building this in my spare time. Now, as luck would have it, I found myself a nether fortress a long time ago. Okay, end of the road. I built myself all the uh, a highway all the way to a nether fortress, not too, not too radically far, but uh, you know, having to fly over here is a bit of a pain. Now, hopefully, as I wander around this fortress, I'll be able to find myself a wither skeleton. And um, as you can see, I've got my safari net launcher with me because wither skeletons—you <laughs> don't want to mess with them. Uh, I want to try and capture one from range. Uh, let's see if I hold down. There we go. It's set to capture mode. So let's uh, let's drop into the fortress and see what we can find. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. Bring me a dream. Aha! I found one, and he's wearing glowstone armor. Lucky me that he, he can't reach me. All right, Mr. Wither Skeleton. Whoops. Crap. Okay, let's see. I gotta aim this right. Stop moving. Stop. Stop moving. Got him. Woo. Woo. I got withered. Woo. Oh. Ow. Woo. Woo. Ha. I've been withered. Ha. All right. I'm going to drop down and I'm going to take the other one out. Where is he? Wither boy. Wither. Come here. I got a sword with your name on it. Got him. Did I? Hey, look at that. I managed to get myself a, a skull in the process, but... Okay. I've got... I've captured a wither skeleton. Now it's just a matter of getting back to base. Whee! Whee! Fly through the air. Alright, here we go. Back to base. Oh, I've never been so happy to see this little portal house. Well, actually, I have been very happy to see this little portal house several times before. Alright, here we go. Back to Strife Solutions. Um, with that done, let's check the list here. Okay, Wither Skeleton. We've got that. We've got a Wither Skeleton in a Safari Net. Now, I'm not going to be able to make use of that Safari Net this time, but uh, it is part of a larger plan. So, uh, next up, I'm going to need to create the actual Cursed Earth, but in order to get my hands on it after I make it, I'm going to need a Silk Touch Shovel. Now, normally, you would make, you get the Silk Touch Enchant by creating an enchanting table, which is something that I need. However, unless I'm mistaken, I think an enchanting table. An enchanting table is composed of, yep, that's right, I remembered it. It's two diamonds, a book, and some uh, obsidian, shift click. There we go, enchanting table. Uh, I'm also going to need some redstone as well. Um, let's see. Is that everything? Okay, I've got the enchanting altar. I need the division sigil. Okay, uh, division sigil. These things, I've, I've, uh, I've got two of them. But these division sigils, they come out of um, chests in uh, various <clears throat> dungeons around the world. I've been adventuring with Parv, so I have two of them. Uh, I think he has at least one as well. If I hit R on this, this strange mystical item cannot be crafted, but is found in dungeon chests. However, in its raw state. It is useless to you and needs to be activated. This can only be done by an ancient and strange method called the Activation Ritual. So in order to do the Activation Ritual, you need the Enchantment Table, you need Redstone, it needs to be, uh, it needs to be able to see the sky, it has to be midnight, and um, you need a sacrifice. So uh, let's see. I've got the Enchanting Table, I've got the Division Sigil, um, I'm gonna need a sacrifice. I'm definitely not going to make it tonight. For that matter, I'm also going to need a clock, so, um... Okay, clock. Pretty, uh, standard vanilla recipe, just gold around a piece of redstone, and I've got a clock. And as you can see, um, this thing shows that, uh, it's almost, uh, dawn. Whenever the, uh, the line between moon and sun is, uh, vertical, that is, uh, basically 6 a.m. or 6 p.m., and whenever the, uh, whenever the moon is straight up or the sun is straight down or vice versa, then it's, uh, midnight or noon. So, I, uh, I'm, I'm quite well past the, uh, the middle of the night, which means that, uh, now 
I've got time to uh, create the next thing on my list, which is a silk touch shovel. Now I'm going to use Tinker's Construct for this. And um, I think that I might... Yeah, okay, I've got some slime shards here, uh, as well as some flint. Go ahead and make myself a shovel head out of flint. And I'll make the tool rod out of slime. Uh, that should be everything that I need to make a shovel. I, I don't think that there's anything else required. Yeah, there we go. Go ahead and pop that in there, along with the tool rod, and I get myself a uh, flint head and slime uh, rod shovel. Now, I'm going to call this the Easy Dig. There we go. We've got ourselves an e the Easy Dig. Um, now, I need to place a silky jewel on this thing. How many modifiers do I have? Um, but most importantly, I need to make myself a silky jewel, because a silk jewel is from Tinker's Construct is what adds the silk touch effect to uh, equipment. So that's an emerald surrounded by four silky cloths, and those cloths are gold surrounded by a bunch of strings. So I've got the string to do this. Okay, here we go. Silky jewel should be inbound here. Go ahead and make myself some of the cloth. One, two, three, four. Then go ahead and make the jewel. Silky jewel. And uh, that's done. I'll go ahead and chuck some of this other stuff away. Okay, now at the table, I can go ahead and add the Silk Touch modifier. There's one. Then I can add the Obsidian to it. There's two. And I'm going to go ahead and add a bunch of redstone to make this thing dig faster, because Flint isn't a particularly quick digging implement. Um, and there we go. We've got ourselves the big easy dig. It's uh, silky, haste, and uh, reinforced level one, which is, uh, you know, it's good. Definitely worth my time. So uh, with all of that done, I now have everything on my list checked off, except for uh, the sacrifice. I'll go ahead and hop down to the farm, grab another safari net. Okay, I think I found the right place to do it. I'm out in the uh, the extreme hills or the highlands, you may you might say, um, to the east of my base. Uh, we've got a couple of jacaranda trees here. Just go ahead and chop these down. And uh, this is going to serve as a perfect location for me to perform the Cursed Earth Ritual. So, the way that this works is that you need, you know, just plain earth around it. Now, um, contrary to what some may believe, you can have grass blocks, you can have straight up dirt, you, you just basically need um, what can maintain grass, which is dirt or grass blocks. Uh, grass blocks will be turned into Cursed Earth, dirt will be turned into Cursed Earth. Um, unless I am making a big mistake. And if I am, I will find out as I do it. So you put down the enchantment table, you take some redstone, and you make a ring around it. There. And, uh, and you're done. That's it. Uh, the only other thing is that you can't have any torches around, no artificial light. You can't uh, have natural light shining on it either. And what you do here is you go ahead and take this and hold down shift, smack it, and it'll tell you what's wrong. Altar must not be lit by outside sources. Too early, sacrifice must be made at midnight. However, as it says there, the altar has a redstone circle. It has a circle placed on dirt. Altar can see the moon. Altar has sufficient natural earth to do the uh, actual ritual. So now, with this done, all I have to do is hang around until midnight to, uh, you know, complete the entire process. And I can get myself some cursed earth. So uh, I'll just hang out until then. Is it... Nope, still too early. Still too early. Looks like I need one more tick. Oh boy, I'm getting nervous, people. I'm getting nervous, everyone. This is magic, and this is something that I'm not really... Oh, what do you know? So, if I do this... Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What have I gotten myself into? Oh, ye! They are all over the place. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Whew. Whew. This is dangerous. I left a whole bunch of cursed earth over there. Oh. There's a reason why you don't mess with potty mouth magic. Okay, everyone. Well, uh, I'm, I'm clearly going to have my hands full trying to clean this mess up. So, uh, until next time, I am, uh, I am Strife of Strife Solutions. I'm eating some food, and uh, I've got some massive damage control to do. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!